What's going on you guys, it's Cody Steck. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Weeble Margin Explained and everything that you need to know about using margin on Weeble. This is a question that I get all the time and I've made a few videos on using Robinhood margin but I wanted to talk about Weeble specifically because there are some differences with the Weeble platform. Now if you haven't signed up for Weeble, there is a link in the description below where you can sign up and you will get two free stocks after depositing $100. So that's a really good promotion if you don't have the platform yet. I really do like Weeble's platform and I like having my money spread out between a couple different brokerages and so I like using Weeble and their margin is actually pretty dang good. Now the interest rate on the margin that you have that you're going to pay with Weeble is actually going to be higher. It's not going to compare to the two and a half percent that Robinhood is offering right now but it is still pretty dang good especially compared to a lot of the standard traditional old money brokerages. So I think Weeble is a great alternative if you like the Weeble platform and you use that as opposed to using Robinhood for you know some of Robinhood's other issues that they've had. Weeble is still a great alternative and you can still use margin very effectively. Over Overall, the interest rate on that margin will be higher, but depending on how much margin you have, it still might be worth it because the margin cost is relatively low, especially if you use it wisely. So without further ado, let's just jump right into things. Okay, so as we come into my Weeble account here, I'm gonna go over here to the menu, and we're gonna, actually, we're gonna go to uh, the main uh, account here. You can see that my net account value is at $16,200, and this is because I have 20, $800 in margin at the current moment. Uh, that's why my cash balance shows negative $2,859. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on more right here on the bottom right. And then we're gonna go into account details. So you need to turn on your margin first if you haven't already done so. I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna look at uh, all the way to the bottom, account type. Now it says that I'm already on a margin account, so I already have margin pulled out. But if you don't have margin set up yet, this is where you can go to change account type. And it's gonna pull up this other, tr uh, other screen which we're not going to go to here, but you can basically just pull it up and um, change your account type to a margin account. There's going to be some questions that they ask you. They're going to want to know that you understand what margin is, at least at the very basic level, and will um, you know accept the risk that comes with borrowing uh, money from them in order to purchase equity. So that is where you can find that uh, for your margin account. And then we're going to come back up here, and you can see that I've got uh, you know some other things on here that you want to know. So my risk level is currently safe, given my current margin. My maintenance margin is at 11506 dollars and this says FINRA rules require investors to maintain a certain amount of equity in their margin account at all times. It is at least 25% of the total market value of the securities investors margin account. This is known as a maintenance margin requirement. So we've talked about this before. This is the minimum amount of equity that you have to have in your account uh, in order to keep the margin um, available basically. The initial margin is the initial amount that you must have uh, which says how much you need in order how much you need in your account in order to borrow against that. So this says according to regulation T of the Federal Reserve Board, you may borrow up to 50% of the purchase price of securities that can be purchased on margin. This is known as the initial margin requirement. The thing with this, the thing you have to know about initial margin and maintenance margin is these numbers are going to change day to day as stock prices go up or down, and it's also going to uh, change based on the risk level of the stocks that you're trying to buy. If you're looking at buying Apple, it's going to have a very low risk assessment, and so the numbers for maintenance and for initial margin are going to be much lower, whereas if you're trying to buy something that's super risky, like let's say maybe GameStop, you're going to be paying a lot higher and you're not going to be able to margin as much because it is seen as a riskier asset and those prices can fluctuate much more. They're much more volatile, right? So that is something that you need to know about there. Now, as we scroll up, let's look at this here, payables and receivables. So this is where it's actually going to tell me how much interest I would have to pay. This is not calculated yet because I just opened up interest or I just opened up margin on this account. And so I don't have any interest calculated just yet. Okay. Now I'm actually looking for the Weeble disclosure, but um, I'm not seeing here so we're going to jump over to the computer and take a look at that because I can't find it here on my phone which is kind of frustrating that's one thing you have to know about Weeble is that like look so far I can't find the disclosures I can find the disclosures but I can't find the fee schedule uh, that's on there and so I don't know if I'm just looking in the wrong place or what's going on um, I mean I've been looking here for about five minutes and uh, they they don't have it um, you know just in, in plain sight which is kind of frustrating so you do have to know if you're using Weeble margin you have to know that that's what um, you know they, they I think they kind of try to hide this because they don't want you to you know necessarily necessarily be looking at it all the time so uh, I don't know if that's on purpose or, or whatnot maybe I'm reading into it too far but let's just jump over here to the computer and take a look at it here okay so looking at this here on my computer you can see we will financial fee schedule we will believes that technology empowers traders to be more profitable helping to grow our users economic freedom technology also enables us to provide transparent and straightforward prices with zero commission and no deposit minimums yeah this is a really cool thing I mean you know back in the day when I started in the stock market you did have commissions I think it was in five or eight dollar commission on each trade that you had and they did have minimum deposit. I think it was like $1,000, which isn't bad, 
But still, you know, when you're just getting started, it's like maybe a thousand bucks is a lot. So uh, the way that uh, Webull makes money is they make money through order flow. So every time you put in an order to purchase a stock, Webull is making a very small sliver of the, the bid ask spread on that stock trade. And so that's how they're making money for this. Now, let's talk about their margin interest rates because that's what we care about. Webull provides up to 4x day trade buying power and 2x overnight buying power with a margin account. That means that if you buy a stock, let's say that you have $10,000, they'll let you buy up to $40,000 worth of that stock to trade within the day. If you're trying to trade it overnight, they'll let you go up to double overnight buying power with the margin account. Be very careful with that. You do have to have at least $2,000 to qualify. If you're into day trading, it can be a very powerful tool. But at the same time, you know, might not be the best thing to uh, leverage up 4x on a day trade. That sounds um, that sounds a little bit risky to me. But uh, nevertheless, interest on margin is trading is calculated on a daily basis and paid on a monthly basis. Margin rate is variable and is de and is determined by the size of the margin loan. This also determine this is also based off of how much money you have within the account. So if you have a debit balance between zero and twenty five thousand dollars, six point nine nine percent, pretty high, right? We're comparing this to Robinhood. That's gonna be a pretty high number. So just be aware of that. Like, look, you're going to be paying a premium if you want to use Webull. Um, it is still a good alternative, but it is quite a bit more expensive if you use a margin here. If it goes up to uh, 25,000 to 100,000, 6.5 percent. 100 to 250k is 6 percent. 250 to 5 is 5.5. 5. 500 to 1 million is 5 percent. Uh, 1 to 3 million, 4.5, and 3 million plus is 4%. So even if you have $3 million in your account, you're still paying 4% on uh, the margin interest. So that's pretty high. You know, that's something you have to, I keep referring this back to Robinhood. And I, I mean, you, look, you guys are here to understand what Webull margin is, uh, is about. And I think there's an opportunity to use it in a wise way if you're using Webull for your platform uh, to trade. Because like, you, like I said, maybe you don't have Robinhood. You don't want to use Robinhood because of their past issues. Maybe you don't trust them. Or maybe you don't want to use one of the big brokers, whatever it may be, you know, Webull still makes sense. These margin rates are actually still pretty good compared to a lot of the other big name brokers like Fidelity or TD Ameritrade. I mean, these numbers do look pretty good, but you can get better out there. Now let's scroll down here and take a look at this, see if there's anything else good on here. Yeah. This talks about fees charged by regulatory agencies and exchanges. This, this is for like ETFs and whatnot. And then it also talks about short selling fees here as well. Um, I'm not going to cover that here on this video. Um, other relevant fees, they do have some fees for like wire transfers and whatnot, but again, uh, not what we're looking at here. All of that being said, guys, this is what you need to know about Webull margin. It is very good, but there are better options out there. As far as getting it turned on, I showed you how to do that here on my phone. If you need some further clarification about how margin works and everything you need to know about getting started with margin, I would refer you over to my Robinhood margin video that will be linked in the description and probably in the pinned comment down below where you can learn more about what you need to know about margin, how it works, when you need to pay it back. Uh, you know, it's basically like a line of credit. You, you've got that money available. So let's say you've got uh, $10, thousand dollars in your account and you get uh, margin up to ten thousand dollars right you've got ten thousand dollars that you could work with which would be basically 2x so you can take that money you can draw from it and you can purchase stocks and then when you sell those stocks it will automatically pay off that margin first before putting a cash balance into your account so that's kind of how that works you pay interest on it it's calculated daily but you only pay it on a monthly basis so basically what they'll do with that is let's say you've got ten thousand in your account but you have three thousand pulled out on margin they're going to calculate that three thousand at whatever interest rate you're paying for the margin and they're going to add that basically to the debt that you have to pay back to Webull to pay off that total margin so it basically just is like a it's a line of credit right it goes up it goes down as you put money in or as you pull money out or, or in the sense of like selling stock right that's going to kind of pay down that debt that you owe to Webull for the margin so with all that being said i hope this video was helpful for you give me a thumbs up here on the video if you made it all, all the way to the end don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other videos on margin here on my channel as well and with all that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one